Hello artists, it's Mrs. Sword out here and today in art we are going to be making some recycled creatures. We, I'm going to show you how to make a cat, I'm going to show you how to make an owl, and we're going to be using toilet paper rolls to create our art. So here's some supplies that we'll use for our project. Here are my two sample, my sample cat and my sample owl. I'll go ahead and set them over here. Um, I used crayons and markers to do this, but you can use whatever tools you have. You might even be able to use uh, paint if you have paint. Just make sure to um, be careful with the lines. If you use the marker first and try to paint over it, the water will make the lines run. You could do a Sharpie if you wanted to use paint. So your first step that you need to do is to clean off your toilet paper roll completely so there's nothing on it. You'll see my two over here. This one still has a little piece. Just clean it all off. And I was lucky enough to find my, I don't know where this came from, but we found white white toilet paper rolls. So clean off the, the extra toilet paper. And when you're ready with just a blank roll, then you can start. Feel free at any time to pause the video and stop the video and uh, take your time. You don't you don't have to watch it just once and be done. You can you can use it as many times as you want until you get your project finished. So to make the ears, the top, I'm just going to take my thumbs and I'm going to squish in. And I just leave these little corners up. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to squish in again. And as I squish, if I squish, it makes my ears. So now I have ears. So I'll start with how to make the owl. I'm going to use my black marker first to draw all my designs and then I'm going to go back in and color. I like to always start with the eyes. Owls have big round eyes. So I'm going to make a circle and then another circle in the middle. And then I'm going to make another circle here that matches this circle and another circle in the middle. The beak for an owl is just the bottom part of a triangle. You can even make the top part if you want. And then I put two little dots there. That's kind of the nose holes for the owl. Now I'm going to turn my um, toilet paper roll over a little bit and I'm going to just do scalloped lines that, that are for the wings. And then my wing comes back up like that. And then I'm going to go ahead into the other side and I'm going to do scalloped lines. And then back. Now for his feathers or her feathers, I'm going to use more scalloped lines. Scalloped lines are lines that go round, pointy, round, pointy, round, pointy, round, pointy. And I didn't put feet on that one, but I think on this one, I'm going to put some feet. Put a little bump there for his little legs. And now my owl has some feet. I'm going to turn him over on the back and I'm going to add more scalloped lines. And it doesn't need to be perfect. Just have fun. Now that I'm done with my marker, I'm ready to start adding color. I'm going to put my lid on. I'm going to listen for that click. And I'm going to use crayons. Crayons, they are opaque, which means they um, make a line that you can't see through, like an ink line you can normally see through. So they're really good for coloring over the top of things. There we go. And you can color your owls any colors you want. In fact, I think for this one, I know I started with orange, but I think I'm going to think a little differently. And I'm going to use my favorite color, which is purple. 
Another thing you can do is you can add some designs or patterns. I'm going to add some spots, some polka dots to my owl. And then I'll go back and color again. My purple spots. You feel free to use whatever colors you like. I think I will use pink. I'll color right over the top of that wing. Right up to his little ear. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and color his back. It is kind of tricky to color on something that isn't flat. So if it's not perfect, please, that's okay. Don't worry. Remember, art is supposed to be fun. It doesn't need to be perfect. So almost done. And there is my little owl. Okay, I'm going to put him over here. And then I'm going to show you how to do the cat. The cat I made first, I made it a calico cat because my cat is a calico cat. I'm not sure I like how the legs turned out. So I think this time I'm just going to do the cat head. So here's my toilet paper roll. Just like I did last time, I'm going to take my thumbs and I'm going to smush in. I'm going to smush in. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to smush in again. And now I have my cat ears. And I'm going to turn it to this side because when I was working on this owl, this little crease line you can see here kind of got in my way. So I'm, I think this will be a better workspace for me. I'm going to use my black marker to start with. Cat's eyes are a little different. Cat's eyes are shaped kind of like footballs, like our eyes are shaped like footballs a little bit. And their pupils are different than ours. Instead of being round, they are kind of slanted like that. So cats have a different kind of eye. To make a cat nose, it's just a triangle, but with round corners. I'm going to make it pointy at the bottom, but round there. And then the rest of its mouth, you just come down here like a letter, backwards letter J. And then on the other side, you can make another letter J. And then my cat needs some whiskers, so I'm going to draw on those whiskers. And I think I'm just going to do the cat head. I, I think I'll like that better. I, did, I didn't really like putting the feet on my cat. I thought that looked a little strange. Okay. So now I'm done with the cat face. I'm going to go ahead and start coloring it. You can use any tool you have to do, to do your art. I'm going to go ahead and color in. I like green eyes on my cat because... My cats have had green eyes in the past. The one I have now has green eyes. And I think I'll color her nose or his nose pink. And then I can decide what my cat's going to look like. Can I make it a normal cat? Or maybe I can make it a stripy cat? Or use my imagination and do something different. So I think I'm going to put polka dots on my cat. And you can do it any way you want. Maybe back here I'll put some stripes. Okay, put the lid back on my pin. Listen for the click. There it is. That's how I know it's closed. Maybe I'll make this one blue. This will be a blue cat. And remember, it's important to have fun. It's important not to worry if your coloring isn't perfect. My coloring is certainly not perfect right now because it's really tricky to try to color something that isn't flat. And you just do the best you can and have fun. All right, I'm almost done coloring my cat. Now you can make as many of these little critters as you want. 
it's all up to you. So that is our project for today. We are using our art tools correctly to create owls and kittens out of toilet paper rolls. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have fun. I'll see you next time.